seriously though, this liquid lipstick gives me life. It kills me and it I'm dead, but then it brings me back and I have life because it gives me life. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back. Today I have a quick haul for you. I just did a collective haul and I just did um, my IMAX haul, but I have another haul for you guys. Um, I've actually been really, really slacking on my hauls. And these are some things that I just picked up recently from Sephora. I also did pick up some other things, like literally like a half an hour ago from Sephora online because. It's a VIP sale, right? So I have 15% off. There are a few things that I might return. I don't know, maybe I'll return it if you guys tell me I should. If not, I'll just keep it, but I spent like a good $300. I hate not working for Sephora anymore and not getting that discount. Ugh. Started out with some of the things that I didn't get from Sephora. And that's some stuff that I got from Lush. One day after work, I was like, you know what, let me go walk around the mall. And um, I remembered that my conditioner, I went in for the conditioner originally. And the conditioner is the Happy Happy Joy Joy one. I actually got the big size of it, but my sister has it up in her room. So I, I'm not going all the way up in the attic to get it. Um, but it's the big size of this, and it was $24. This size right here, I believe, is $12, I want to say. But honestly, it's like 3.3 fluid ounces. You really don't need a lot of this, but I don't know. Just because I can fit in the palm of my hand, I feel like I'm not getting a lot. So, I don't want it. Better, it's like a better deal rather than just this little one. But because I honestly love it, I love the scent of it. Um, a subscriber of mine told me that she bought it because of me. And honestly, it's such a great scent and it really, really does last and linger in your hair. And it's a different smell. It's not super sweet. It's not like clean. It's like a unique smell it honestly if you smell it and if you're Guyanese it legitimately smells like cashews like you know the cashew fruit it smells like that it's just it's so good it has almond milk jojoba oil rose and orange flower that conditions the hair so I'm, I'm assuming it's that um, the orange flower it smells like flowers I guess I honestly I don't know maybe I'm, I'm just a fob and I think it smells like cashew because I I want some cashews but no, for real, like, it smells so good. Um, and when you get a whiff of that in your hair, like when you're walking or something, it just, it just is so worth it. The next one that I did get is the shampoo. So that's a conditioner. You really need just a small amount and then um, you can put it in through the ends of your hairs. And it's not going to feel like when you have it, when you, you know, put regular conditioner and you get that like soft, silky feeling. It's not going to have that right away. It's going to feel like you're putting nothing in your hair. But when you wash it out, that's when you feel all the soft and silkiness. So I like that a lot. Um, the next thing that I got is a solid um, shampoo. This one is in the, this one's called, um, I got the red cinnamon one last time. But this one is called, oh my god, I keep forgetting the name. I want to say it's. Baltimona or one of those. I'll have the name here, but it smells very, very citrusy. I personally like smelling very citrusy. I don't know, it's just me. Like I smell, like, I like smelling like lemons and limes. They're my favorite, so I like smelling like that. This smells just like lemons, so I thought that was cool. And this is supposed to help your hair detoxify your hair, get all the junk out, and leave your hair feeling really, really, really clean. The last one I got was actually one to, I think, help promote. It helps to tingle the scalp so the hair grows a little bit longer. I picked up this, this body massage bar. This one is in the, this one is called Soft Core. It smells like chocolate chocolate and then it smells like white chocolate and I love the smell of white chocolate. I feel like it's so different, it's so decadent and I really like that. So like in the nighttime when I'm like going to bed and I just took a shower and I really want to moisturize my skin, I would put this on. And then it just feels very, it's just, it smells very, very warm and you just feel really, really cozy. I have a little remnants of my snow, I can even probably just rub that up. I, it's a little remnants of snowberry, which is also one of my favorites. I actually like that one a lot in the winter time, so that's usually when they bring it up, so that's cool. And then last but not least, I got this. Um, I actually got this during Christmas time. I do have a Lush haul that I will be putting up 
Um, it was just, it's just so long because I got a lot of different um, packages and I talked a little bit about all of them, so that's why I'm, I'm still editing it. If you do want to see it, let me know. If not, I just won't edit it and I'll just talk about some of the products individually. I did get First Snow and this is like a sparkling dusting powder. A citrusy powder to leave your skin looking like it's been kissed by twinkling snowflakes. So pretty much you get a little bit of this in your hand. Oh, is it locked? Because I didn't open it yet. You get a little bit of this in your hands and then it adds like a little sparkle to your arms. sparkle to your hands, something something fun. I think that's all the things that I did get from Lush. I did go to Rite Aid because, I don't know, I was, I was around the area, I went to the bank and the Rite Aid's right there, so I was like, you know what, let me go in. And I actually did just run out of my moisturizer, which is the La Roche-Posay, the Adelios SX. That actually really does help to hydrate your face. I ran out of that and I was like, you know what, let me just get something different and try something different. So then I act, oh, this is not actually different because I used to use this before when I was in college and high school. Um, I really like it because it has the salicylic acid inside already. So you're using it as a moisturizer and it's already treating your face. So I thought it was cool. Um, and I remember saying to myself that when I ran out of this the last time, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try something new. But when I run out of that something new, I'm going to get this again. So that's what happened basically. So I got it. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I do want this one from Lancome. It's called the Bienfe, Bienfe um, Multi Vital um, SPF 30. I really, really want to try that one because it looks really, really good. And I, I love things with SPF in it just because SPF is so important for your skin. It's really important because it helps with dark spots and it helps to like protect your skin from your dark spots getting darker. So that's why I think SPF is like super duper important. This one actually doesn't have SPF in it, and I thought it did, but it really doesn't. I'm, I'm a little bummed about that. Um, so I am getting another moisturizer though from Mark for gratis. I'm getting like, it's not a moisturizer, it's an SPF, like an SPF 50, so I'm, I'm happy about that. So this is oil free and it helps to moisturize dry skin and help treat and prevent pimples and stuff like that. Um, I like it so far because um, I really feel like it helps with my makeup as well. It helps my makeup stay in place and it helps to kind of not not necessarily prime it, but I don't know. I felt like my makeup went on really well when I used it underneath. The next place that I went to was the company store. My friend Catherine actually works for Blooming Dells. You guys know that she was nice enough to take me because she's my bestie and I love her. The company store is really cool. There's like Tons of like old collections, things that are out now, at, and you get it at like a discounted price of 50 or 40 percent off. So the things that I did get were some Mac stuff because I was just like, oh my god, this is this is crazy. Like I, I need these things. I don't remember the collections that these are from. I don't know what it was called, but it, I think it was a holiday collection. This is a mineralized eyeshadow, and this one is an exclusive ego. It is so beautiful. You can wear it as an eyeshadow or you can wear it as a highlight. I actually have the um, MSF for this one. It's called Perfectly Poised. And that by far is like my absolute favorite mineralized skin finish ever. Like for, oh my god. For the most part, anytime you ever would see me, I'm most likely wearing that one. It's just a gorgeous rose gold highlight and it kind of has like some... So you see how this is like, it's a little bit pink on top. It has that in the other one as well. So this looks like a little mini version of it, but I don't think it is. All the swatches of these are inserted so you guys can see. I don't want to swatch it right now just because I literally have no room on my hand to swatch after my eye mask haul. So next one I got is called Young Punk, and this is a mineralized eyeshadow. I don't know if this is limited edition. I'm not sure, but it's just a really, really gorgeous um, black and purple color. And Sorry, I'm like itchy all over. Um, it's really really cool. It's like a black base and it has the purple on top of it And it's not like skimping on the purple. It's actually really really purple and Purple glitter and I love it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure but 
in any case, it's just, it's so pretty and I really love that. I would definitely rock that on like a night out, like a clubbing night. Like use like a black eyeliner underneath as a base or like the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in um, black mean or whatever it is. Use that down, set it down really nice first. And then put this like right on top of it and kind of smoke it out. Oh my god, it's, it would just be so beautiful. I can't even tell. I'm excited. I might do a look using that for like a night out look. I don't I don't even go out, but I'll do it for you guys. The next thing that I got was Guilt by Association. I really don't think I have this one. I'm not sure though. I feel like I might have this one. I'm not sure though. I don't know why I said that twice. This one's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous like bronzy color. Oh my god, it looks like a little earth. I don't even want to touch it. Okay, I'm not going to swatch this one either. I'll put some swatches in for you guys. But this one is just a gorgeous, like, deep... It's almost like it's a greenish, brownish. Like a brownie, tan color. And I... Oh my god, it's, it, it's like... It's to die for. And then last but not least, I got Cinder Fella, which is just a black and silver glitter. And this is just... It's so, 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 so pretty. This is actually perfect for like a really black, glittery, glittery black smoky eye. The glitter in here is insane. So I'm so happy I got this one. And I just, I just, I don't know. I've just been like obsessed with glitter and like shiny eyes recently. I'm obsessed. Okay, so then the next thing that I did get were... These are actually new. This is from the MAC is Beauty collection. I got two fluid lines. I am gonna get two more is what my plan is. I'm probably gonna get Sahai, I think it's called, and Shade. Um, those are the two that I really, really want the most. Um, but I did get some blue ones because I've actually been on like a blue kick recently. This one is called Blue Pea. No, this one's called Royal Wink. And it's just a really, really pretty Pacific blue, um, cobalt blue actually color and I love the fluid lines because they are so creamy they stay creamy I do have copper thorn as well I got copper thorn in another collection but it came back so I think you can get it now I did do a tutorial using it and I said it was limited edition but you can definitely get it now copper thorn is gorgeous honestly these ones that I picked up I feel are the absolute best and the absolute wearable and the most unique ones out of them all so yeah if you definitely if you're interested in getting any of these I would suggest getting Royal Link, Bo Peep, Sahai, and Shade. The most gorgeous ones and the most like like versatile different ones that you can use. This is um Blue Peep. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a I wanna say it's like a a little bit a touch more blue than Tiffany Blue. I can't wait to wear that one. I might try wearing that tomorrow. So those are the two that I did get from MAC. I did get a YSL mascara. The mascara that I got was the Fossils, um, the Volume Effect, and this is number three. Yeah, this is number three, and it's actually just the really, really bright blue one. This baby is just amazing. I'm so in love with it. I can't get over the fact that it's like $30, though. So, like, I can't get over it. But I really, really want the purple one because the purple one is just as pigmented as the blue one. And I know you're thinking, oh my god, I have black lashes. Like, this is not going to show up. No, it totally, 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 totally does show up. So that's awesome. And it just leaves your lashes being, like, super duper blue. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm definitely, definitely most likely going to get the purple one. I think the purple one is number four, I want to say. But yeah, I'm for sure getting that one. And then, what did I get? What did I get? Oh, I got the new Lancome Cream Blush. It's called the A Healthy Glow Blush in Coral Alize. Yummy. Um, this is number one. And this is just like a really pretty, like, like almost peachy, no, oh, like a corally color basically is what it's called. It, it's like a cream, but when it goes on, it goes on so beautifully and so soft that it's not going to like, if you're putting it on top of powder, I really like this formula because if you're putting it on top of powder, it's not going to get cakey. It's not going to like, like crease your powder. It doesn't do that. It's just really, really light and really airy and really whipped. That's how it feels. Um, and it's, it's like, it looks like a powder. It's not like you touch it and it gets all crazy. Um, not really. It's fine. This is out right now in Nordstrom's. It just came out, and um, 
they also have like a bronzing powder. It's gorgeous. So the number eight is the one I would get because I like a little bit more of a darker contour um, as well as like kind of bronzing me up. Um, I, you don't have to get number eight, which is the darkest one. You can get a little bit lighter. They have some lighters. So they're not, they're not like bronzers. They're more like um, blurring powders. But they're bronzers, so don't let anybody fool you. They have like these like cream shadow sticks. I actually really, really do want to get it, but I feel like I have something similar. It's kind of different. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more different. It's like stays a lot longer, and it has a little bit more of glitter inside. So that all over your lid is just bomb.com. It was between this, the bronzing powder, and then that. Like I just, I'm just so broke after eye mask. Like I couldn't pick up anything else. Like I, I really couldn't bring myself to. Although I did go to Sephora, so maybe I should. But in any case, I love those ones. So definitely, definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, I actually do work at Nordstrom and I do work for Lancome. I have a lot of their things as yet. I will be getting gratis. And the gratis is actually the things that I, I picked for what I wanted to try out the most out of the whole line. Trust me, it wasn't a lot because, I don't know, I have my skincare that I stick to and I have my makeups that I like. Um, so the things that I did pick, and I'll do a haul on it if you guys would like, are the things that I feel like I need the most for my skin and things that I really do want to try out and see if it will work for me. I like makeup. I don't really do, like I do skincare, but I have my specific skincare that I use. Like I don't use any and everything just because I don't want to break out and I don't want to like have to deal with having these issues and breaking out. like. Like my skin is breaking out right now and I hate it. Like it's just so stressful to me because I have to think, oh my god, well I have to eat properly. I can't use this, I can't use that. I have to like use everything like properly and I have to use only my Lourdes Rose stuff because I know that will help treat it. So it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. And I really, really I'm very skeptical about my makeup as well. Like I like what I like and I like things that are super pigmented and will last me forever and are not breaking the bank. I really do want to let you guys know that even if I do work for a company, like I work for Sephora, like I just love makeup in general. So if I do find something that I love, I'm not gonna just hype it up or tell you guys, oh my god, you should get this just because I work for the brand. I'm gonna tell you this because I actually do like it. Like why, why, what, I, I wish I got paid to tell you guys that I love something. I really, really don't though. And um, I would not make you go out and spend any money that you don't need to spend. I tell you guys things that are good and you know, things that I choose to invest my money in. And for the most part, all of these things and everything I've ever shown you, except for the times when I'm telling you guys that this is like kind of like a review, I probably got sent it, but I'm doing the review because of, for it, because I actually like it. Like, I've had a lot of companies send me things and I just, I didn't do a review because I didn't like it. And you know, whether I have to send it back or whether I just kept it, like, if I don't, if I don't like something and I don't believe in it completely wholeheartedly, I won't tell you guys. So please do trust when I when I say that. Beyond that, I really like those things and those are the three from the new collection that I just absolutely adore. I got two Tartlet palettes. One is a surprise for my friend because her birthday is coming up. I really hope she's not watching this. Um, and then I got the Cap on D Shade and Light palette. So I got that because my friend um, Priyanka, Priyanka Glam on Instagram, definitely go ahead and check her out, she's amazing. Um, she was telling me how she loves it. It's so creamy and so buttery. Um, I was thinking, you know what, maybe it wouldn't work well for me because I'm not super light. But I did start doing more like taupey gray colors as my contour and that palette is just full of it. So honestly, I'm sitting here thinking like, maybe it's not going to look too ashy on me. Maybe, maybe I can pull it off. So when I get it, I'm going to definitely do a review on it and try it. And I did get the Tartlet palette. I've been like dying for the Tartlet palette after swatching it so much in like Sephora's and stuff like that. This palette is amazing and I'm so excited to get it. I'm super duper excited to get it. And then let me get into what I got today. Okay, so I went after work. It's so bad when you work in a mall. Like how many of you work in a mall? Like how do you not, how are you, I don't know, maybe you are broke, I don't know. I went to Safari. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for everything that I got, okay. So I got a sample, the girl in there is so sweet. What is her name, girl? Oh my God, you didn't write your name down. She gave me the Kate Somerville 
um, mask. She said that it works amazing. I wish I had this in my Sephora. So this is actually explains you how to use it and everything about it. This is the Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. There's a small one for 22 and the biggest one is 175, which is crazy. It's a 4.6 out of 5 stars. Crazy! The dual action exfoliation method that seemingly smooths away years in as, in as little as 2 minutes. It harnesses the power of fruit enzymes to clarify skin by removing dead cells and eliminating bacteria. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like an Insta video review on this on my Reese MUA channel. If you haven't seen my Reese MUA channel, I do like t tiny mini like, sometimes I do tutorials. I actually don't do tutorials at all. I do like little reviews on things, um, but maybe I should start doing tutorials and stuff. Glam Glow again. So the first time I got this, it was from TJ Maxx and it was expired and I was about to have a flippin' heart attack when I was putting disgusting expired things on my face and I was so mad at TJ Maxx and I've, I've been boycotting it ever since but this one is awesome. It has glycolic, salicylic, lac This has everything in it that helps with your skin. It helps you detoxify your skin, pull out all the impurities. I'm excited about this so I'm glad that I got this. Um, I really do want to get the other mask, um, the one with the full size black one and then the green one and the blue one. <sighs> due time guys, due time. I actually did get this one for $19. I don't know if I should if I should keep this one. It's $19, it's a thirsty one, it's the little blue one. I feel like I want to return it just because I feel like it's so small. I don't know. I got I got to think about this a little bit more. I'm not going to open it as yet, but the girls in there told me that she loved it. It was super hydrating for her face. Um she really liked it. Um so we'll see about that. The last two things I got were the Sephora brush cleaner cuz I really really need to clean my brushes and I don't have any cleansers, so I'm excited I got that. And then last but not least, I got the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It's light diffusing peptide infused and paraben free and this is what it looks like so apparently everyone says that it's like a mixture it's like if NARS Radiant Concealer and Prolonger had a baby it does a crease and stuff like that I got medium dark so hopefully this works really well underneath my eyes the girl actually did it underneath my eyes so underneath my eyes right now I don't know I feel like it's creasing a little bit but I but I normally set my concealer with banana powder so maybe that's like and I've been wearing a lot today so I don't know if that's why it's creasing but um, I'm definitely gonna try this out and review this one for you guys or talk about it on my Instagram just because like I don't want to get it if it's gonna crease like that and it really did crease underneath so I was kind of like upset a little bit so I hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any of your favorite products or products that you've been loving right now or possibly you think I should try out and check out. I'm gonna go look in my NYX bag now. Um, I think I, I went to NYX after party and I got my NYX bag, but I've been having like legitimate anxiety about opening it because I'm like, where the hell am I gonna put all of these things? Like, where, where? So, um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And, yes sir. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in another video. Mwah. Oh, Shout out to you if you don't know where that's from.